and welcome to project 13 of this course so in this video we are going to be learning about how we can create a scroll bar indicator by just using html css and javascript so now if you just scroll our mouse here so here you can see we get our scroll indicator right here so if we take it to the end so here you can see it will just increase and if we hit the final portion so it will just take this entire space and now if we scroll up to the above so here you can see it, it will decrease okay so this is what we are going to be learning about in this video so without wasting any further time now let's jump right into our code error and write our code previous video we've created this image background text project by just using html and css in this video we are going to be creating a page scroll indicator by just using html css and javascript so i'm going to just create a new folder give a name of like 013 then page scroll indicator and inside this uh, folder i'm going to create three files the first one will be index.html the second one will be style.css and the third one will be app.js so now here inside my html file i'm going to write my doc type html and change the title to be like um page scroll indicator and then i'll just link it with my css file and also with my javascript file Okay, so then I'll right click on it and open with live server and I'll also hide this metadata from here. And now here you can see we are now live right here. So the first thing I would do for this project in HTML section, I'll just write like a div with the class of content. And inside this content class, I'm going to write an emit. So I'll just write like section inside this section. We want this uh, H1 with the text of title and we also want a paragraph with the text of lorem 200 okay and we want all of them to print 30 times so i'm going to duplicate this line of code and come in the first section and then i'm going to hit control or command and then space and if i hit enter right here so it will now give us this result right here so the first thing we have is like section inside this section we have h1 with a title of uh with a text of title and then we have a paragraph with the text of lorem 200 lorem 200 okay so now i'm going to just select that and then i'm going to hit control or command and then d so i'll just try like control and command d d d and now select all of them okay so now i select all of them then i'm going to hit control or command and then hit space and then if i hit enter right here so it will now generate this kind of uh text for me okay so if i send my file and now let's go to our browser so here you can see this is the result we are getting right now okay so no styling whatsoever but because we want some text to scroll with so that's why i'm just writing like these random words right here you can focus on the ui if you want to but in my case i'm just focusing on the past code indicator which will come up right here so then i'll scroll to the bottom right here and underneath this section i'll just write like uh, a div with a class of scroll indicator and inside this scroll indicator i'm gonna write my progress right here so i'll just write like progress and then if i save my file and then i'll go to my css right here and this one will be that indicator which will come up right here okay so whenever we scroll so the indicator will take its place right here all right so then i'll go to my css file and now let's start working on styling so the first thing i'll do is i'll just write a, a padding of zero like a or reset so and then i'll also write a margin of zero as well and then i'll select my body inside this body i'm going to give them a height of 100 vh and font family of sans serif and you can choose whichever font you like and background will be totally black and text will be totally white save our file and this is how it looks like right now okay so then i'll select my content which is uh let me just show you that which is right here so then i want to select this content inside this content i'll just provide a padding of like 4 rem and once we save our file and this is how it looks like right now we just added a little bit of padding to all of around and then now let's select our section like all of these section right here like this first section second section and all of these 30 sections so i'll just select this section right here and now i'll provide a border of two pixels solid white I'll just put a, a bit of border to it and then margin will be 20 pixel top and bottom and left and right will be zero and padding will be 20 pixel all around save our file so this is how it looks like right now okay so the next thing i'll do is i'll also just tile this h1 a bit so then i'll write like section and you want this h1 from each section and you will just provide a margin of 10 pixel top and bottom and zero pixel left and right and this is how it looks like right now 
all right so your squad looking good so the next thing i would do is i would just style this scroll page uh, i mean like scroll indicator and this progress so now it's working on that so i'll just write like scroll indicator and then i'll just select a height of five pixel because you don't want them to be like huge and then i'll also give a width of calc and this call function allows us to calculate the value so i'll just write 100 percent minus 6m okay and then i'll just give a top to like 10 pixel and left will be 3m and border radius will be three pixel save our file and nothing will show us up because we don't provide any background color or any border whatsoever right here and now let's style this progress right here so now i'm going to select this progress right here and first of all let's select this scroll uh, indicator and then this progress so then i want to give him a height of 100 percent and i'll also give him a width of zero for now and then i'll give him a border um border radius of like i don't know three pixels will be fine so instead of zero i'll set that to zero but now if i want to show you so i'll just throw it like uh, i don't know 20 would be fine 20 pixel and then i'll set that to zero once again and now let's add just a little bit of uh transition to it so transition will be width and 0 0.1 second okay so then here i'll just provide a background color of like linear gradient and just write like linear gradient and the first one will be just write a 30 30 degree and the linear will gradient will be 2 1 d 4 or and then fd okay comma then you have to write another one which will be b 72 one ff okay so this one will be our gradient so once we save our file and now we cannot see that i don't know why uh, i guess i messed up with the classes a bit copy it let me copy this one paste it right here and also paste it right here seven you still cannot see that oh we forgot to include a position of fixed to it sorry <laughs> position fixed because it will be the top so now we can see that right here so let's suppose if i just increase it like uh i don't know 100 pixel save it and now here you can see that indicator and now let's suppose if i want to take the entire space so i'll just write 100 percent so here you can see it will now take the entire space right here okay so now i'll just uh back it to the zero and by the way if you are wondering like where did i get this uh gradient from so i just get this gradient from this side which is called so just write gradient.com and here you can choose which are gradient you like and there's a lot of them like if you select the second category so here are there and now if you select this third one so you can find a cool gradient for yourself in my case i just choose this one you can choose whichever you like so now i'm going to close this site all right so now we are good to go so the final step of this project we have to just provide a little bit of javascript to it so the first thing we would need is that indicator so for that we are going to be writing like let indicator will be equals to document dot query selector and then we would just select that scroll indicator and then also that progress which is inside that indicator and finally we have to just select like uh let me just see if we select it or not indicator and save our file then open our developer tools okay indicator is not defined i guess i must spell it save it and now here you can see we have our indicator right here okay the next thing which you have to select is to just write like let scroll Hide. we have to get a hide first of all so then for that we are going to be just writing like document dot document element and then scroll hide now we have to just minus that from like document dot document element and then client hide so i'll just write client hide and now let's just check that scroll hide so i'll just write a scroll hide save it and this is how it looks like right now so now we get our scroll hide right here so now i'm going to just remove this console log from there and then i'll create then i'll attach our event listener for the window so i'll just write like window dot add event listener and once we scroll so this event will fire so you will just write like scroll right here and then we will create a function with the name of scroll okay and now let's just write our logic inside this function so you just write like let scroll top document dot uh, document dot create element 
and then you would just get a top the scroll top right here so this is our scroll top so then we have to write like let scroll add okay so then we have to just write like scroll top divided by scroll height okay and then we have to just write that in our brackets and then times 100 okay not thousand but hundred and then we have to just grab our indicator and then change the style of it so just just style and then we have to pour it with paired it will be now equals to these back ticks and now you will select or scroll it like this variable copy it and paste it right here and we also have to just add a percentages right here so once we sell file and now if you just scroll down a bit so here you can see the indicator is taking its place right here okay so if you scroll to the bottom of the page so it will take entire space if you are at the middle so it will just take the half of the space right here okay so this is how we can build a scroll page indicator all right so that was it about today's project so if you guys don't know about get and github so feel free to skip this video and if you guys do know about get and github and if you want to push your code into your github repository so then you can read and let me just show you how you can push your code into github repository so for that i want to close this file right here and i've already opened my terminal and now what i'll do i'll just write get status and here we can see we have this O13 right here then i'll clear it out and then i'll just write like get uh add and then everything so now we add everything and now just write like get commit dash m and just write like um, um page scroll indicator and if i hit enter so it will now just do a commit for us and finally we have to push our code into github repository so I'll just write like get push and then origin main okay and if i hit enter right now it will push our code into our github repository so if i refresh that and now here you can see is o13 page scroll indicator and if i click on that so we have this app.js file and which will hold this code and then we have an index.html file and inside this index.html file we have all of this code right here and then finally we have this style.css file and now you can have access to all of this code right now if you want to check that out okay so i think that was about today's video and i'll see you in the next video bye bye